Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about Automated Test Framework or ATF. This is one of the most amazing applications available in ServiceNow. And in this video we will see why every instance should have this ATF setup. If you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. The agenda of this video would be introduction to ATF, then the benefits of ATF, and then we will see what are test, suites, and properties in ATF and finally we will see a demo of how to create an ATF test. First of all the introduction, the ATF enables you to create and run automated tests to confirm that your instance works after making a change. For example if you have made change to a form or to your instance or maybe you have done your upgrade or maybe during your development and you don't want to waste your time in testing the same scenario again and again for example there are 10 or 20 steps involved to test a particular scenario you can use ATF to mimic what you are doing and then ServiceNow will automatically run those ATF tests automatically and you will be able to see the results directly with a screenshot and finally you will be able to see if there are any failed test results to identify the changes that caused the failure and the changes you should review also one thing to note ATF is activated out of the box automatically but it is not enabled so you have to go to system properties and enable it manually this is to avoid ATFs running in the production system so you should never run your ATF scenarios in production you just have to run them in your non-production instances next are the benefits of the ATF it reduces your upgrade and development time by replacing the manual effort so you just have to click a button and the test will start automatically next we can design our tests in such a way that we can pass different values at different point of time and then you can test it based on different scenarios next is you can keep your instances clean because the data which is generated during testing in automated test framework is not saved in service now it is automatically deleted then you can create test suites which is the collection of different tests and then you can schedule them to run during your night time and then in the morning you can come and see those results we will see what are test suites in next slide and as discussed in the previous point you can schedule these test suites one of the best features which I like about ATF is that you can give KT to your non-technical test designers or maybe to the stakeholders and they can go ahead and create their own ATF scenarios. You just have to give them ATF admin role and they will be able to test everything themselves. So you will not be involved during the testing phase. Then we have some of the out of the box scenarios or tests already present which you can utilize and finally you can create your own custom test steps. Next is what is a test? A test is a logical grouping of related automated test steps that verify some functionality or feature. In the screenshot you can see there is one out of the box test and there are four steps for this. So this test will contain multiple steps which need to be run for example impersonating a user or maybe opening a new form or opening an existing record or maybe clicking a UI action button. So you can have all those steps listed here and these tests are stored in sys ATF test table. Next is test suites. A test suite is a collection of tests that run in some specific order. Test designers typically create test suite to test application or a group of related features. For example, this is a test suite which is out of the box and it is for the change management and test suite will contain multiple tests in that. In this example, you can see there are multiple tests, for example, for high risk with UI action property, revert to new emergency types. So these tests will have multiple steps within these tests and then they will run automatically one by one. So you don't have to go and click on each and every test every time you can use the test suites to test the whole application or maybe a feature. Now we will see a demo and how to set properties in the ATF. First of all, let's see how can we enable ATF in our ServiceNow instance. For that, I will go to ServiceNow and I will search for automated test framework and under administration, I will see properties and I will click on that and you have to ensure that these three checkboxes are clicked as yes and you have to save them. 
once you save this you will be able to test your application or your features for creating a new test we will go to tests and we will click new now we will be creating a test to test a catalog item in that we will open that catalog item and then we will give the values and then we will submit the form so this is a straightforward atf scenario so let's start with this i will give the name as atf demo and i will save this and as soon as i save this you will see some of the tabs which are available now and i will click on add test step and then you will be able to see the test steps which are available out of the box you can see all steps under this section or you can click on any of these buttons to see some specific functionality steps which are available so for example for reporting you can check if the report visibility is available to that particular user or not then you can test for the rest apis as well and if i click on the form you can open a new form open existing record or set some field values as well and finally we can see for the service catalog or service catalog in service portal so let's use service catalog in service portal for this i will open a new catalog item and after this page opens you can select the portal name in which you want to open your form and then the page as well and finally you can select the catalog item i'll go ahead and search for the catalog item and for example if i want to search for laptop i will select the standard laptop and then i will submit this and you can see the first step has been added and this is the step number and if you want to make it active or inactive you can do it from here as well in the second step i will set the variable values of this particular item for that i will have to select set variable values and i will click on next and this is my step number 2 which it has taken automatically item as standard laptop also automatically and if i scroll down a bit you can see it will show me the variables which are available on this standard laptop so there is one called acrobat and if you want to select it to true or false then i will select additional software requirements and i can say maybe for example coral draw and finally the third variable value photoshop and i will select it as false for example and then i will submit this so now the form will open and we will set the variable values and finally then we will order this catalog item for that i will go to order a catalog item in service portal and click next and i will submit this so this is a very simple test which we have created and it will have only these three steps and we will be able to test this if the standard laptop item on service portal works correctly or not and now in your future upgrades if you want to test your all the service catalog items you can create a test for each item and then place them in the test suites and you just have to run a test suite after your upgrade and everything will be tested automatically and if there are any errors service now will point out them with a screenshot let's run this test by clicking on run test and i will click this button and it will open a new tab which will show you all the screenshots of what actually is happening step by step and now it says the connection status is connected and it will show you it is opening the catalog item this is step number 1 and it has opened this particular catalog item as standard laptop and it has given the value as coral draw which we had set and it has selected adobe acrobat as true and then now it is submitting this and this test has been now completed if i go back to the main window it will show me that test has succeeded 100% i can click on go to results you will be able to see each and every screenshot of every step and if there are any errors you would be able to see screenshot with the name as underscore error at the last so this is how we have created one test and these are simple test steps which we have also created in the next video we will see how can we create test suites thank you for watching this video let me know in comments if you have any questions please subscribe to my channel